<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all if you have a modified PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV that already has cold booting custom firmware on it thanks to Enzo. So if you're on firmware 3.60 or 3.65, and that means as soon as you turn on the PlayStation Vita, you're able to go in and launch your favorite pieces of homebrew. This will show you if you want to follow along how you can, as a SD2 Vita user and owner, transfer over your setup from Storage Manager to Yamped. Now, what exactly is Yamped? Yamped comes from developer SKG Liba and is short for yet another remount tool. It's a kernel plugin for PlayStation Vita and PlayStation TV. Now, this only works on firmwares 3.60 and 3.65, and it does require Enzo. Yet again, that means that you have to have cold booting custom firmware for this solution. Now, just from basic features here, it does state that it has the ability to remount all partitions, a clean SD2 Vita patch system, no boot delays found, and basic and noob-friendly GUI manager included. So for ease of use, it is quite nice. This is kind of the more recommended thing here for new setups. And the big thing is apparently the boot times are much, much nicer on here compared to something such as Storage Manager. Now, if you're using Storage Manager on your Vita and you don't notice any issues, you might not really need to upgrade here. This is really if you're wanting to get into the technical aspect of here and if you want to upgrade yourself. However, with any new installation of a modified Vita, Yamped is the go-to and it is recommended. However, there is one caveat to that. Funny enough, there actually seems to be a limitation specifically with Samsung Evo branded micro SD cards. So if you have a Samsung Evo micro SD card, that actually does not work with Yamped. So if you have one of these here, for example, if you just bought a huge 512 gigabyte Samsung Evo micro SD card, you will have to stick to a storage manager solution as opposed to using Yamped. Now, currently on this PlayStation TV setup, again, this is running firmware 3.60 with Enzo, and I do have a SD2 Vita installed with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card. So this is running storage manager, but in order to get this setup, up, we are going to have to download and install Yamped as well as remove Storage Manager. So first that is going to require us to get the VPK file. Now there are a few methods of doing this. First of all, of course, you can always open up Vita Shell, and within Vita Shell, you can press the Start button and you can select either FTP mode or USB mode. However, you're going to connect your PlayStation TV or PlayStation Vita to your computer. Then you can press the select button here and you can run a FTP server or a USB connection. Alternatively as well, since we are using a micro SD card, what I'm going to opt to do is just remove the SD card from the console itself and plug it directly into my computer. If you're going to be going through that route, Go ahead, come up here. We're going to completely power off the console, and then we're going to have to remove the micro SD card from the console and bring it over to our PC. The GitHub link for Yamped is going to be down below in the description of this video. And once you come to the GitHub, I would recommend checking out the features, instructions, and all that real quick here. There's not all too much to read, and it does really help out to see this. However, we can go ahead and come over to the releases section, and within releases, we're going to go over to the latest release and download the yamped.vpk file. Now with whichever method you're going to be accessing your Vita storage, you can go over to where your storage is and pick somewhere you're going to save the vpk file. Typically it might be in a downloads folder, or typically I make a vpk folder. So you can come in here and transfer over the yamped.vpk file. Once that's all done, if you're connecting through USB or micro SD card to your computer here, just be sure to right click and eject to safely eject your storage and then go back over to the Vita. All right, so over at the Vita, what we'll need to do is first we're going to start uninstalling Storage Manager. So for that, we can come over to Vita Shell and launch Vita Shell. Next, we're going to need to go to UR0, go all the way down to the tie folder and find your config.txt and open this up. You should find a line right here, which is Thai Storage Manager SKPRX. You can just press the triangle button right here and press X over delete. 
Now we can press the circle button to exit and we're going to save our modification. Do not restart or power off your Vita just yet. Now from here, we can go back, go back yet again, go to UX0, and find wherever you saved the yamped.vpk over to. For this, I'm going to go all the way down to VPK, go down to yamped, and we're going to install this like any other package. Just wait a few moments. With this all installed, we can press the triangle button, go down to delete, and say yes. Now let's go ahead, exit out of here. Now from here, we can go down to yamped installer and launch this app. From here, it's pretty simple. You can install either the light version or you can install the full version. If you'd like to refer to which one would be useful to you, you can check the installation instructions on the GitHub page where it says the light version is intended for normal users and it provides the basic mounting and format options, which is what we need. The full version is recommended for advanced users and it packs all important storage managing tools. Honestly, for what we're doing, the light version will work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and install the light version and it's going to reboot. Now once the console reboots, you can check your storage. So we can go over to settings. There's a couple places to do it. First of all, in settings, of course, we can go down to system, system information. And as you can see, I know I have an eight gigabyte micro SD card in here and my capacity is just under eight gigabytes, which is expected. Alternatively, you can also always go into Vita shell, launch this. And when you look at all the storage options, you'll be able to see what exactly you have. So as you can see, my UX0 is sitting at about eight gigabytes, which again, I know that I have an eight gigabyte micro SD card installed in here. So that is literally all there is to it. Congratulations, you have installed Yamped and you've upgraded from Storage Manager. Now for some final touches here, and if you ever need to change the settings on this, it's pretty simple. You can go ahead, exit out of here. We're going to go over to our settings launch this and check this out. If you come over to devices, storage devices, you're now going to have this new feature here for Yamped. So first of all, we can enable the Yamped driver. Now UX0 is supposed to be your memory card or your SD to Vita, whatever you're using here. So you can specify this directly. Now these are set by default, but if you want to be specific on this, you can come in here and change this to SD to Vita because that's exactly what we're using. Next up for UMA0, that needs to be what your other piece of storage is going to be. So for example, if you have a PS Vita 1000 model, you would select memory card, or if you have a PS Vita 2000 model or a PS TV, and you know you're not going to use a memory card or you're just not using it at all on there, those ones have one gigabyte of internal storage, so you would select internal storage for that. And there we go. So. Really at that point, we can reboot our system yet again. And the very last thing, just to clear out a few files, we can go over to Vita Shell one last time, at least for this procedure. Now there's one last thing we can do just to clean up a few straggler files. We can go ahead, launch Vita Shell one more time, and you can scroll down over to UR0, go down to tie, and we're going to get rid of a couple files here. First of all, we're going to get rid of the storage manager, skprx, the storage manager log, if you have that, as well as the storage config.txt. Since we're not using storage manager anymore, we don't need any of these. You can hit triangle, delete, and say yes to all of those because there we go, we're now on Yamped. So if you've transitioned over to Yamped from Storage Manager, congratulations. Hopefully you enjoy your really awesome boot times. Hopefully you like the new GUI that is available in the settings itself and just have a good time at this point. Anyways, that is about it for this video. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too.